Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to graph both a bar graph and a line graph on Kami, since you will be doing both on this particular graph. All right, so the tools you're going to be using today are the markup tool and the drawing tool. So for your markup tool, this is what you're going to use for your bar graph. So you would select markup, you would go down to where it says box highlighter, and then select whatever color you want to do your graph in. Make sure that all of your bars are the same color. I'm going to use red since I think it stands out a little bit more. All right, what you're going to do then is you have this nice little cross cursor. You're going to come over and you're going to say, okay, I am doing a, um, a bar graph for precipitation. So I'm going to be looking at my numbers on the right hand side. I'm going to say, okay, so maybe in January the precipitation was 10. So I'm going to come over from my 10. I'm going to basically drag and drop. Oops, that didn't work. I'm going to drag and drop my box down in the January. It does not have to fill up the entire thing, but once you start doing this, so maybe in February it was a little bit rainier, you're going to drag and drop, and it's going to create a nice square so that you can create a bar graph across each of your graphs. This is the easiest way. Don't spend the time to color in stuff on this when you can just drag and drop and create your own square. If you want to change the color after you do this, all you have to do is go to the select tool, highlight it, and then change the color to whatever you want to. All right, then it's going to ask you to do a line graph. We've done these before, but I just want to kind of go over that one more time. All right, so with the drawing tool, you're going to select a thickness. I always like to do my points with a six point, just so it's a little more um, obvious. All right, you can choose any of these colors. I'm going to do a darker color for this one. All right, so let's choose this blue color, and we're going to be graphing temperature with a line graph. Okay, so for January, maybe the temperature was uh, 10. We're going to put a dot there. All right, February, maybe we're getting a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer. All right, once you have done all of these dots for each of your months, you're then going to go back in with that same drawing tool and you're going to connect your points. It does not have to be gorgeous. I know that it's on the computer, so do the best that you can. My suggestion is that you connect your lines with something that is a little less thick than the points that you originally use and that way it's easier to see and you can do this once again by hitting that select tool getting your mouse hovering over that and then changing the thickness um, on that particular line 